Okay, hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. And in this video, this is our second video in this series. If you missed the overview video, you might want to go take a look at that. Uh, we're talking about zoom video conferencing camera control. This is my favorite form of camera control. And we're using zoom. I'm just going to put .us because that's where you can get the software. But zoom video conf. I won't spell out conferencing. It's a long word. So this is what we're going to use to control the cameras and it's so super, super easy. So basically you've got uh, the camera. I'm just gonna draw the camera like this, okay? The camera is connected via USB to, let's just say a laptop. I'm so bad at drawing laptops, but whoop, there's my laptop. It's not too bad, right? It's connected via USB, that's it. That's all you need. Now. If you're doing a remote broadcast, you probably want to have some type of microphone. So I'm going to draw a microphone like this. Let's say it's a USB microphone. So you got audio, video, and you've got audio into a laptop that's on the internet. Now that connects to the cloud and back to us. So wherever you are, I'm going to take the, down this thing here. Wherever you are in the world, here's the cloud. Wherever you are, this is how I do my live broadcast. We have videos about how to do this. You can bring in the audio and video from the far end, from whoever you're video conferencing with, and you can actually bring it back to your studio and live stream it. Whoop! To YouTube or Facebook. Facebook okay so sorry there's a lot of stuff going on there but does that make sense so here's the remote conference video conferencing with you video and audio to your your studio so we're, here's your computer here you have a tower with two monitors connected to the computer and maybe you've got cameras and microphones over here you know this is your studio this is wherever you are and now you can control the camera Pan tilt zoom here and I'm going to show you how that works right now so when you when you have a PTZ optics camera connected and I don't want to breeze over that first part because that first part was really important um, when you have a PTZ optics camera connected to your uh, computer in zoom video conferencing you now have the ability to right click and click request camera control. So you see that there? Let me zoom in on this here. Um, oop, give me one second here. I'm going to zoom in on this and go ahead and go back. Here we go. See that there? That's the request camera control button right there. And when you click that button, you gain pan, tilt, and zoom controls in vMix. Or sorry, in um, in zoom and now I'm going to show those controls in more detail see that button there that's pan tilt zoom directly in zoom video conferencing interface how cool is that so I'm in the same room right now but imagine you could be anywhere in the world and you're gonna get these pan tilt zoom buttons they're gonna allow you to control the camera from anywhere in the world how cool is that so there I am zooming. I did some pan tilt zooming. It's really, really cool stuff. That's it, guys. It's that easy. It's just literally plugging the computer into Zoom, using Zoom as your conferencing provider. And if you're doing one-to-one, -one, it's free, unlimited use. So um, I do believe you need the pro edition to do the camera control part. Um, so you do, you're probably going to want to sign up for a license because one of the things I wanted to mention and I will show this in uh, is that when you log into Zoom, so let me show you guys this really quickly. Um, add this is that when you log into Zoom, you are going to need to um, let me log in here. So I'm going to go ahead and log into Zoom with Google. In the account management section, um, what you need to do in the meeting settings is you need to have, be a manager here and you need to allow far end camera control. 
So hopefully you guys can see that. I can zoom into it. But basically, uh, the far end camera control feature needs to be enabled by your admin. So your admin, whoever that may be, is going to need to enable far end camera control for this to work or else you're not going to see that that option. Okay, so, um, you know, in account settings, there's a whole bunch of things in here. You, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into the in, uh, where is that? I believe it's, there's a whole bunch of settings in here, but you have to ask your admin to enable far end camera control. And that's it. It's so easy to do far end camera control. Thanks for watching. Our next video is going to be on using the remote control software that we offer on our website. So thanks for watching and let's click to watch video. another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.